Hello everyone, welcome back to Best T-shirt Designs. So in this video, I am going to show you how to create a design like this. So this is a very popular design and making a design like this can take hours of illustration work. Also, you need to be a really good artist for making designs like this. But in the era of AI, we can easily create a design similar to this one and uh, that is not going to be copyrighted. So as you can see here, I am using Glyph AI and this is the prompt I am using illustration of a unicorn riding a t-rex both are cheerful and colorful with black lines vector art sticker so i added black line because i wanted to keep the black line and remove the rest of the details so that i can easily create a good looking graphic from it also this is not going to be copyrighted so i am going to take this image and for processing the image i am going to use photoshop so here on photoshop just place your image like this you can take any size artboard i am currently using like 3000 by 3000 artboard maybe so let's go to image adjustment okay so i need to select this one and go to image adjustment and then threshold so threshold is going to give me something like this but i need all the details to be removed so i just want this clean black lines nothing else no shading or no details just these black lines so in in this position this is okay and i'm going to press ctrl a for select all then ctrl c for copy and here in, in illustrator i am going to just paste it so this is how it is looking and i am going to just click on image trace that is going to trace my image with something like this so this is fine i am okay with that let's expand it now for creating the design i am going to remove the outer side of my graphic that is i don't want the parts that i don't want so if I remove this one, it is going to create a gap there. So let's just make it black for now. So as you can see, this is how my graphic is looking right now and that is okay. So for making this colorful, I'm going to follow the previous process and which is I'm just going to select this image as my example here. Also, I can trace some colors from it if I want. That is also fine. So the same process, I'm going to first of all double click, select this black and then select all from here select same and then fill color and then cut it so i will have these black lines only here then i am going to create a new layer press ctrl f here so ctrl f is going to place my black layer on top of everything so i have this white layer in the background so i am not selecting if i select this if i lock this white layer you will be able to see that i cannot select anything that means if i lock this if i keep this black layer locked and this layer unlocked that means I am only selecting the white parts of it. I cannot select the black part from here. So that is one way. So I am going to select this part and I am going to select this color for the dinosaur. And then I am going to show you how we can make it color. How we can add shadings like that if I if you want. So I am just going to make it in this color. Also this one I am going to make in this color. So in this one, I'm going to make it a little bit colorful than the previous video with a flat color. So that's why I can now make this colorful areas how they are. So selecting this one, I'm going to pick this color. Also for this area, I'm going to pick this color that is used in the original design. Also for the rest of the graphic from here, I can use a color like this one maybe just to create a variation like this so this is fine now i am going to select it from here so this can take a little bit time for making all the colors so this is how you can colorize your image and uh, for this area i am going to make it with this color or maybe i will make it yellow because in one of our previous video we created something like similar to the dinosaur with these parts being yellow okay so not like that okay guys so this is how you can colorize your image i will get back after the coloring process is complete okay so the first layer of coloring is complete here i am going to add the second layer here and for adding that i am going to pick those colors from the image so this is going to be the shadow for the unicorn part and this is going to be the shadow for the dinosaur body and this is going to be the color of this area also that will need another shadow color which is this one so i have some colors like this i am just going to keep it here for now and for this area i am going to add those colors so for doing that i am going to lock this layer so let's rename them 
first layer will be the outline layer and this layer is going to be the base color and then we will need another layer which will be the third layer and this one we are going to name it shadow layer so that's how you can create a new layer and in this shadow layer i am going to add some shadows so let's say for i am going to start with the unicorn so let's pick this color with eyedropper and with my pencil tool i can now draw shapes like this just like this but make sure to stay inside the black line this is going to be a bit tricky here and then match it with the rest of the area so as you can see this is how it is going to look and this is going to be the shadow part so wherever you think there should be a shadow you can draw a shape like this and we are of course using illustrator and we are creating this that means we are making everything in vector format so everything is going to be highest in quality so maybe for this area i am just going to draw a shape like this just to give it a shape or a shadow like that so in this area everything is inside the shadow that is let's keep it like that so for this i am just going to draw a shape here which will be something like this i am not using any kind of fancy graphic tab or my ipad i am just using my mouse so it is not necessary to have everything okay so this is how it is looking this is how my unicorn is looking let's add some details for my this dinosaur part so as you can see here they are using a shadow for the back area of the dinosaur with this leg part so let's try to do that so for adding the shadow from this area i am just going to follow the shapes as we can see here the hair part or something like that that part i am just going to follow them and then from here everything i need to come back inside the black lines i can go it from here and you will see how it is going to be so as you can see it is overlapping with my yellow part there so for that case i am going to i need to remove some part of it so i am using my eraser tool to erase that part so that is good but okay so as you can see this one let's select everything then make it this color and then choose a darker shade of that color so that will be the perfect way of making the dark layer or the shadow layer that will be the closest so let's say for this one i am going to pick this color and then i am going to make a shadow layer of that one so because we are using images to pick our colors that's why it, sometimes we get some wrong colors or wrong details like that so here we should follow that shape also for this area i'm just going to follow this shape from here this is going to take a little bit time so you can take all the time you need also if you want it you can do it with pen tool so let's try using pen tool here i'm just going to follow these shapes nothing else but pen tool is a little bit time taker for me i can do it much faster with my pencil tool so like this also for the comeback part you can pen tool is a bit helpful for that part so as you can see this is how it is going to be also for this area again i am going to use my pencil tool for this one just something like this don't worry if you go over the black area for some lines like this you can simply just erase it from here and that is good so for this part here i'm going to do the same thing i'm not going to add too many details to my graphic something like this is going to work so for this area we will need that yellow part so i'm not going to put my shadow there so that looks good let's add a line from here the shadow part and that is good so from here i'm just going to add a line like this for the shadow and so once we are satisfied with the shadow part i can now add this layer that is the yellow layer so let's say I am going to use pencil tool for this time so from here i am just going to 
make it look like this then maybe from here i'm going to make it like this okay so for this one i'm just going to bring to this area and then back like this also with pen tool we can do it precisely a little bit better than pencil tool but that is only if you are okay with using pencil tool pen tool something like that so for this area i am just going to go from inside the black lines and that is good we can come back like this also and this is how it is looking but the thing here is we need to okay let's use this color so for this area we need to remove some part which is like this leg part should not be this area we should remove the white from here so that's why i draw it like this also for this hand part i don't need it like that okay so this is how it is looking right now and uh, for this layer okay let's keep it like that so there is a shadow layer of that area as you can see here so i'm going to select this one then i'm going to take a little bit darker shade of that and then i'm going to simply just put some shapes like that so just a random shape like this then select this one and this one and press shift m so shift m will give us shape builder tool that will help us easily remove the unwanted parts so let's say i want to remove it make it like this then i'm going to select this two then i'm going to erase it with the shape builder tool so maybe there is a little bit issue here so we need to fix that okay so that is fine so as you can see this is how it is looking and we should add this kind of shadow for all the areas like these areas and everything so let's try to do that i'm going to just pick this color take a darker shade of it just make sure that it is following with the original flow of the shape just like this that is good but maybe i will need a bit darker than that one so something like this yeah that is looking good and for the for that color i am going to add that shape to every layer which have that pinkish color and i am going to do it at once So this is how it is looking also there is another way which is we can add some highlighted colors so let's lock this layer and then create a new layer which we will call it highlight now on this layer we can add some let's say i want to add a shadow for this one so add a highlight for everything so we can create a brush like this this is just an ellipse now for this one i can simply use white or we can let's say we want to create it for unicorn so we can take the base color and then we can take a lighter color of that but that is going to be something like this so let's take white for everything then i'm going to create a new brush from here art brush so let's and delete that one so we have a brush this is the brush select this one and now wherever you need you can simply apply that highlighted brush like this so something like this this is how it is going to look maybe for this area i will add a highlight so for this color that is not a very suitable color because it is not going to be visible but let's say for some of these areas we can add some lines like this maybe a bit smaller in size so wherever we didn't put a shadow color we can add a highlighter like this so that is good also for this one just to make it a variation as you can see this is how it is going to look and these colors are going to pop so that is going to look so that is going to be a good looking one so let's say for this one we didn't add shadows so we can add highlights to them just like this just to make a variation also for uh, the edges like this we can add a little highlight there so we can do the same for this one 
something like this not on everything but on just some areas like this so we didn't put any shadow here so we can put a highlight there maybe something like this that is good for these areas we can use some highlighter that is good for this one we can add it like this or we can blend it with the white in the design so it is going to look something like this so that is good let's say for this one i am going to make it look like this but let's make it a bit bigger in size because we are drawing on a bigger area so that will be easier to cover everything just like this maybe one here so also this is a brush so we can of course modify it every time so something like that is going to be let's use one for here maybe one for this area we didn't put highlight there so we can use it like this so okay so this is how it is looking and it is pretty good let's use one for this area this is not where the highlight should be highlight should be always on the opposite of the shadow so we put shadow here so we put the highlight on the opposite side that is the rule but for this one i am just going to make some random highlights like this just to make it a little bit pop so as you can see this is how it is looking this is how my final graphic is looking so now i am going to group them so let's group them by the layer so there is a circle beside every layer so if we click on let's say on the highlight group it is going to select only whatever is in, inside that layer so we can make it a group that will become the group of highlight we can select this shadow layer we can make it a group that will become a group of the shadows we can click on this outline layer we can make it a group that will become the outline group on this base color layer if we select everything on this if we click here that is going to select everything in our canvas so let's deselect some of the things that we don't need then we can make it a group then in this way everything will be arranged as a group now we can select everything and then make it a group so as you can see this is how it is looking right now and this is a perfect this is a perfect colorful graphic there is no need to worry about it this is complete in vector format now for making a design with it you can use any design you want you can use just some rainbows or you can use something like this all the designs as you can see here 100 days of school roll in 100 days of school okay so just to give you an example so as you can see this is how we can create a design using our graphic we can create 10 different designs with the same graphic if the text and formation is different enough so that is something you need to Keep in mind this is how you can work for micro stock and print on demand both so this is a safe way also we used flux for creating this image so this image is not public anywhere that means no one can actually see that image we created so that's why this is safe i am saying so i'm just putting some graphics here and there just to fill those areas so as you can see this is how it is looking and we are done with this one so i hope this was helpful for you guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i will try to answer your questions and if you learned something new from this one let me know that also so thank you for watching have a great time